Hi, I'm Vince Borg, the owner of Box Hills Speech Pathology. Today, Sarah, Rochelle and I are going to tackle some of the most common questions that you may have about teletherapy. I think the best part about doing speech pathology via teletherapy is that I've still been able to engage with the clients, even though we can't be in the same room. It's really great to keep the therapy going and to check in and to see how they're going. The other thing that I've found really great is that the kids are so engaged in the games, um, they really want to be a part of it, um, and the parents have just taken to it as well. For me, the best part about delivering sessions via teletherapy is seeing how comfortable clients are in their own environment because they're at home and they're familiar with it and they're with their um, pets and siblings and families. They feel really comfortable on screen and are super engaged, especially with all the different resources, activities and games that we're able to share through our screens to make therapy super fun and super exciting for all the kids. The best part about delivering sessions via teletherapy is that it provides access to children and adults uh, to a huge range of specialist speech pathologists we have here in the clinic. I've been doing teletherapy for kids who stutter and adults who stutter, and also for children and adults that have tongue thrust problems throughout Victoria, interstate, and even overseas, and it's worked fantastically. It surprised me how well some of the children who have difficulty sitting still in the clinic room actually have been able to concentrate and focus with the teletherapy sessions. Particularly when we're looking at pictures or doing games through the screen, they've been able to engage really well, which has surprised me in, in a really good way. I think the amount of interaction that we were able to obtain with younger children. I thought that younger children would be jumping on and off the screen, but they were so engaging. And because we're able to share drawing and games, it really helped to keep their interest and motivation and therefore engage with us doing the therapy. That was the most surprising aspect about teletherapy. No, it's not that hard to set up all the equipment. I think people feel like it's going to be really difficult, but in most cases it's been very straightforward. All the client needs is a camera and, a, and speakers built into their computer or laptop or iPad. People have been using different devices uh, and they've all been quite effective but it's really easy to set up, particularly with the Zoom sessions. You don't even have to create an account. You just click on the link, open it up, and you're there, you're connected. If somebody gets cut off in the middle of a session, we have really good backup support here, and we can call you, we can uh, contact you immediately, and try and re-establish that connection as soon as possible. So if your child can't sit in front of the camera for the whole session, that's absolutely okay. And that's something that we do expect, especially with younger children, just as we would expect that to happen perhaps in the room when we're face to face and the child isn't engaged the whole time. We always have parents in the room right next to their children and you can use fantastic materials that you will have in your very home. And the therapists are amazing that we have in the clinic. They know how to engage your children. NDIS is covered under teletherapy and so are the EPC plans and even a lot of uh, private health insurance have now got cover for teletherapy. So I think uh, the landscape has changed quite a bit on that and there is funding available. So if you're worried about your child having too much screen time, what we do here at Box Hill Speech Pathology is we take a lot of time and effort to ensure that your child has a super fun and engaging session with us over teletherapy. And we also make sure that it doesn't feel like they're staring at a screen for too long or watching videos or anything like that, but rather we create opportunities for both you and your child to play lots of games and for us to observe and for us to play lots of games and activities with your child just as we would in the clinic room face to face.
There's actually a really significant body of evidence to support the effectiveness of teletherapy. Uh, it's been building for quite a number of years now. A lot of clinical research studies and um, comparative studies as well of face-to-face -face versus teletherapy. Um, and they've had some really good outcomes with the tele teletherapy sessions. The evidence indicates that teletherapy is just as effective as face-to-face. -face.